For drivers who want to catch the attention of their fellow motorists, but don't want to spend the earth in order to do it, then there aren't many better options than a small convertible with a prestige badge. That's why traditionally, BMW's small drop tops have done a roaring trade. The 2 Series convertible is the company's latest offering and it goes toe to toe with the Audi A3 Cabriolet. Where convertibles are concerned, style matters more than just about anything else. And this car has it in spades. You've got these shapely headlamps and big air intakes that lend a little bit of aggression to the design, but it's all tempered with smooth curves and flowing lines. This shoulder line is a particularly neat touch, starting just behind the front wheel arch and flowing seamlessly all the way around the back of the car. All models come with alloy wheels, chromed up exhausts and LED rear lights, while luxury models add a few more chromey bits. M Sport models will be the most popular with buyers thanks mainly to their racy body kit. Climb inside the 2 Series and you'll find most things pretty easy to get to grips with. You get the iDrive controller as standard, which makes it an absolute doddle to use the car's various functions, and it lends a fairly high-tech feel as well. Annoyingly, the pedals are offset way to the right of the footwell, which feels a bit awkward, but at least there is loads of adjustment for your seat and your steering wheel. The best thing in here, though, is the quality. All the materials are super, super plush. So anyone peering into your car will know that this is one quality product. And when you're not in the mood for a spot of topless sunbathing, you simply hit this switch and the roof comes up electrically in just 19 seconds and it can be operated at speeds of up to 31 miles per hour. Doing so also gives you a bigger boot because you can flip up this divider to give you 335 litres instead of 280. However, the boot isn't a great shape, the access is a bit narrow and you don't get folding rear seats as standard. What's more, the rear seats aren't exactly comfortable for adults because knee room and particularly shoulder room are decidedly snug. How your 2 Series behaves on the road will very much depend on which version you go for. Not only are there a range of engines to choose from, but the suspension setup you get can vary from trim to trim as well. Even more confusingly, all the examples we've driven so far have been fitted with the optional adaptive suspension, which lets you firm things up or soften them off by selecting different driving modes. But whichever mode you select for the suspension, the ride and handling balance you get isn't exactly ideal. Things feel a bit lumpy and unsettled over craggy surfaces, and because the body control isn't particularly strong either, the ride feels floaty over undulating roads, and there's more body lean than you expect in bent. It's really strange because we tried the adaptive suspension on the M235i range topper, and it is much, much better than it is in this car. This car being the 220D model, it comes with a 2-litre diesel engine, giving 187 brake horsepower. It's not short of pace or flexibility, thanks to the strong pull you get at low revs. However, it's not as quiet or as smooth as the diesel engines you get in some rival convertibles. It's not as efficient either, but the official fuel economy figure of 60.1 miles per gallon is hardly catastrophic. So the 2 Series convertible certainly isn't perfect, with fairly fundamental flaws in a few key areas. However, there's still a lot to like about this car, not least its elegant looks and its gorgeous interior. If you're after a premium badge drop top that won't break the bank to buy or to run, it's well worth a look.